before we go, I'd like to read a poem because poetry can reach our hearts in a different way. Poems can have us feel in a different way. And that's what this podcast is all about. Expanding our hearts, deepening our empathy, and inviting in joy. So each week, you get a new poem. Today's poem was chosen for my conversation with Virginia Soul Smith. Um, Virginia is such a big picture thinker and at the same time can bring us right into the complexities and intricacies of parenting in a world filled with anti-fat bias. So this poem called Butter by Connie Wanick feels like the right choice to me for its expansive nature and also the intimate details that it shares. So here it is. Butter, like love, seems common enough, yet has many imitators. I held a brick of it, heavy and cool, and glimpsed what seemed like skin beneath a corner of its wrap. The décolletage revealed a most attractive fat, and most refined. Not milk, not cream, not even creme de la creme. It was a delicacy which assured me that bliss follows agitation, that even pasture daisies through the alchemy of four stomachs may grace a king's table. We have a yellow bowl near the toaster where summer's butter grows soft and sentimental. We love it better for its weeping, its nostalgia for buckets and churns and deep stone wells, for the press of a wooden butter mold shaped like a swollen heart.